Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to uh, format a flash drive and also load software onto it so you can update the firmware on an Eagle 1 Hawk or Eagle 2. So first things first, you want to plug in your flash drive. You want a flash drive that is 32 gigs or smaller. If it's larger than 32 gigs, you're going to have trouble getting it to format correctly. So just make sure it's 32 gigs or smaller. Watkins recommends uh, SanDisk as a brand, which is what I'm using right now. So how you want to start is you want to start by opening up your uh, file manager and going to this PC. You want to find your USB flash drive, right click it, format. And then we can see here the file system. We want the file system to be set to FAT32. If you have a flash drive that is larger than 32 gigs, your only choices will be XFAT and NTFS. Neither of these will work. It needs to be FAT32. You can name it whatever you want. The label will not affect performance. It'll just affect how it shows up in your operating system. And then you want to make sure you have quick format enabled. Go ahead and hit start. Uh, it's just warning you that it will erase all data on the drive. Uh, if you don't want anything to be lost, you'll have to back it up. But if you're okay with the drive being erased, then hit okay. Now your flash drive will format and it'll say format complete. And just to double check, you can right click the flash drive, go to properties, and you can see here file system is FAT32. Uh, this is the file system that the tub is expecting to read off of. If it's a different file system, it will not work. So it needs to be FAT32 for the hot tub to recognize it. Now what we do is we go into access, we go to the hot spring service portal, we go to SPA software, and then we have all of our different makes, and then we also have Eagle 2 code. So I want to explain the old way that this used to work. The old way for Eagle 1 and Hawk is you would click on your make, and then you would have to choose your software based off of what control head you have. So you can see we have the dual mode screen here for Limelight. We have the old Limelight screen. If we go to High Life, we can see that we have the dog bone, the dual mode screen, as well as the hard mounted touch screen used on the 2018s. So if, say we were to install this hard mounted touch screen firmware, we would hit the download button over here on the left. And it would download a .hex file we would move that .hex file over to our flash drive and this would be it. You would just uh, plug in the flash drive to the hot tub and it would read the .hex file and you would be done uh, as long as this file is the only thing on the flash drive. Eagle 2 works a little bit differently. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Eagle 2 uh, we don't want the showroom demo code or the instructions. We just want Eagle 2 software code. And uh, as of recording this, the latest version is May 2024. We're going to download that. And it blocked a pop-up. We're going to download that. And it's going to send us a zip file. Now, this zip file is not the firmware file that we need to install. We actually need to do something with this zip file first. What we do is we cut the zip file, throw it over on our flash drive. We just, we wanna make sure that this zip file is the only thing on our flash drive. We wanna right click the zip file, extract all, and then hit extract. All right, now if we go back to the very beginning of our flash drive, we have a folder and a zip. We can delete the zip, Zip is gone, now we have this folder called Eagle 2 Production Software May 24. This still is not ready. What we need to do is we need to go into the folder, go into the other folder. These are our firmware files. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these firmware files and we're going to go all the way back to the root of the flash drive and paste them. And then we can delete this folder because it's empty now. So. Just to double check, we go to this PC, we open up our flash drive, and right away, we should see all of our .bin files. There should be no folders, no zip files, just .bin files. And we can see here, 
if we look at the names, we have firmware Eagle 24.13, graphics 24.11, we have the Freshwater IQ firmware, which is 2411, and then the heads up display, which is 2413. So now that we have all of this ready to go, we can go ahead and right click eject our flash drive, and then we can take it out and we can put it in the hot tub.